What's good? It's your boy Tad Money, and today I'm gonna talk about I love the Starlink startup kick. You know the satellite and uh, the box, the Wi-Fi box, whatever you call that thing, or adapter or Wi-Fi or whatever you call it. <clears throat> you know, I say I'm not good with names. You know, what I'm saying not. You know, I've always been like that. It's not because of marijuana. I know y'all are thinking, man, you need to quit smoking weed if you don't know what the thing's called. No, I just never. I just never think about those things. You know, there's other things in my mind besides anything like that. But you know, what I'm really trying to say though is, is that you know, I, I really love you know Elon Musk, man. Like, tell you true, these these four main videos I'm coming out with. It's going to be about Elon Musk, man, because I really love that guy, and I really love technology, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole thing is, I would go full-blown into New Age and witchcraft and practice all of those things, but when it comes to technology, I realize that technology is the main thing that's really going to rule the world. That's really going to rule, especially when the decade of 2030 come. Like when six, when like when 6G is implemented, technology is going to be fully advanced by then. You know what I'm saying? But we need 5G towers everywhere. And yes, no five, them, them 5G towers can turn into 6G as well. But at the same time, it's taking, but at the same time, it's going to be, 5G is going to be everywhere until the year of 2025. You know what I'm saying? Uh, either if that year definitely the year the year the year is after it the year is after 2025, but that's when 5G is really around America. I, you know, there's 5G at Safeway around the corner from my house, and there's 5G in my neighborhood as well. It's on top of the satellites. I don't know why the conspiracy there is talking about 5G give you cancer and all this other stuff because I live next to a 5G tower. <laughs> And it haven't gave me no cancer or nothing like that. So it only affects certain people, but it only comes down to people who are sensitive to uh, to uh, energy waves, whatever you call them, waves, microwaves or something. I, I really don't know. But you know what I'm trying to say, though. You know what I'm saying? So 5G don't affect people like that. It might affect birds. It might affect birds dying. I don't have no proof of this, but I'm just saying, though. It depends on how it's turned on and how how the what the ways of it are be, but it won't. But it really won't affect humans in a way. It, it might make you forget and stuff, but it won't be. All, it won't be all that serious though. You know what I'm saying? So hold on, y'all. But but at the same time, just always go, go buy some crystals. Get some crystals. I got I got amethyst crystals, but I got other crystals as well. Crystals can really block your energy, but really help you out in certain things as well. And also crystals are minerals or two. So when you have minerals on your crystals, you know, always keep and also because of crystals, that's why I know what I know, you know what I'm saying? Because crystals help me to really understand things. And they're really they really are they really are metaphysical, but rare. Get some crystals. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me do something real quick. Like I got I got this amethyst, I got this amethyst crystal right here. You know, I got this from a metaphysical store, but you know, so I keep it on my desk. But you know, really go get your go get yourself some crystals. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think crystals are really are really helpful when it comes to dealing with things like that. But I think I want to talk about Starlink's uh startup kit. Now I really love Starlink startup kit. The thing about it is the satellite. I don't know if it can handle cold win uh, winter, like like the snow, like zero degrees and all that. Because in my second channel, I got a video on my playlist. Whereas guy talking about his satellite got froze because of the weather he lives in is he but I think I don't know if he I don't know if he said it works, but it's froze. So, you know, we really gotta, you know, work on the satellite to work you know, to work not in just hot weather, but also very, very cold weather as well. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta understand, Elon Musk don't got a thousand uh satellites in space yet. I think he got like a I don't know how many I think like a four or five I don't know how many satellites he got up now. But what I'm trying to say though is you gotta wait. You know, I think in 2025 we'll be ready. But when 2030 comes, that's when all the all all the Starlink, not just Starlink, but Amazon, Google, and OneWeb, you know, all of them is gonna have their satellites in orbit. So it's gonna be a bunch. It's already a bunch of satellites in Earth's orbit. But now it's gonna be hell of them. It's gonna be hell of satellites in outer space. You just you are you already know. Especially when it comes down to 6G and 5G, yeah, it's gonna be hella satellites in outer space, man. It's gonna be a whole bunch of junk. You know, just just wait and see. You know what I'm saying? So, 
What I'm really trying to say though is is that I love Starlink's uh startup kick, but you know, they really gotta work on that satellite thing, like to really just stand stand not just I know it can stand in high weather. I know it can stand in high weather because you know, thanks to solar panels, solar panels receive uh waves uh, waves from the sun. I think I think it it gets waves from the sun, I think. But uh but it, it's not best with cold areas. For some reason, it's definitely, definitely not best with cold areas. You know what I'm saying? So, I really hope that Elon Musk will work on something like that. But if it works good in cold areas, and really, I know people want to put it on top of their roof. But I hope they get some, I know they got people that can just go to your house and put it on the roof for you. You know what I'm saying? Holding on yards. But where are you going to put it at if you got solar panels on your roof? That's one thing. So I think you put it anywhere, but it's got to be, you got to have full clear of the sky. You got to have full view of the sky. Trees cannot block it. Nothing cannot block the satellite. It got to have clear view of the sky in order for it to have connection to the satellite in outer space. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I love Starlink. I think it's going to work great in multiplayer games. Because, you know, uh, you know I, I got to upgrade my internet, my Xfinity internet. Because I do I do play Call of Duty multiplayer. Uh, mostly, my, I don't got Black Ops yet, but I got Modern War. I play Modern Warfare. I play Ground Wars. That should be glitching the hell out. So, I know I got to upgrade my internet, but... You know, I really, I really will mess with Starlink and you know Amazon, Google, and OneWeb. I really want to mess with their, you know. But I mean, here's the thing, though: when they come out with their own internet service, that's when, um, that's when definitely I think Xfinity and AT and T is gonna either make their shit cheaper, or they're gonna go out of business. Don't get me wrong; I am scared to like, cut loose my Xfinity. I am scared to let go of my Comcast because it's in my name and I pay for the bill. You know what I'm saying? Even though it goes up every year. I still pay for the bill. The thing about it is, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared to let go of Comcast. You know what I'm saying? But now, right now, Starlink is only focused on those who live in rural areas, people who live in areas where they can't get Comcast or AT and T. But when, when, it's, when it, but when it works well in, in rural areas, that's when it's gonna come to neighborhoods. And if someone in the neighborhood got Starlink, they can distribute it to, they can sell it to you, they can let you rent it, and you know what I'm saying. You just gotta pay them the, the bill, you know, the money for it. But they will let you rent it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So holding out yards. So that's why I, that's why I love Starlink. I really, I really love I really love Elon Musk though, man. I'm not gonna say nothing gay. But I really love Elon Musk though, man. You know, I love females, you know, I got a foot fetish, but you know, I'm not gonna say nothing, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing gay. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna kiss the guy or anything. Cause I know he like females too, just like me. But what I'm really trying to say though is, but you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say I have, I have gay feelings. It's just that I, I, I just love the man so much, man. I love Elon Musk so much, man. Whole nine yards. So that's one thing I want to put out there. But other than that, though, that's all I want to say. I want to put out there, man. I love. That's all I want to say though is about uh, Starling startup kick. You know, you're gonna see it in the thumbnail. Whole nine yards, though, man. Whole nine yards. So I love you, Elon Musk, man. I love people that's working for you. And I hope one day we can meet, man, work things out with spirituality and AI and stuff, man. So thank you, man. This is your boy, Tad Money. I'm finna sign off, so peace.